Brock Lesnar was recently called out by one of his old friends, so we'll take a look at what's going on there. We'll also see the connections between Sonya and Stephanie, as well as the WWE UK special event. Let's start things off with this report regarding a WWE premium live event taking place in the UK. It's been a very long time since the UK has hosted a special WWE live event. Sure, WWE goes overseas a few times a year and gives the UK a few episodes of Raw and SmackDown, as well as some regular live event shows. But the fans, and even some UK-born superstars like Drew McIntyre, have seriously been pushing for UK to host a WrestleMania or even just a pay-per-view event. It's been a long time since they hosted any big show like that. Like we mentioned, the biggest show the UK gets to host is Raw or SmackDown, and those shows aren't live due to time zone differences. So the idea of the UK hosting a special live event WWE show is something that excites everyone. Everyone is well aware that they have one of the most energetic live fans in the entire world. Their fans come to life, they're passionate, and as a result of that, it makes the show feel even more alive. And WWE obviously isn't in their towns so often, so when WWE does come over, they're extremely hyped up and ready to go. So that's why the idea of giving the UK a big live event show is an exciting idea that excites the UK fans, and fans all over the world that just love seeing a hyped up crowd. Like everyone learned during the pandemic era of wrestling, fans play a big role in wrestling. So, the louder and the more energetic they are, the better. These sources claim that the WWE United Kingdom pay-per-view return will take place on Saturday, September 3rd at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Another interesting thing that the fans have pointed out is that AEW's All Out event will also be taking place around the same weekend, so it'll be a loaded week for wrestling. So that's something extremely great to look forward to, a special WWE live event rumored to be returning to the UK this September. Brock Lesnar is in the middle of one of the biggest storylines in his entire career with Roman Reigns. But one of the main issues when it comes to Brock Lesnar is that there's not too many current WWE superstars who are currently credible enough to face Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre are some of the rare superstars where you think to yourself, yeah, they have a fair shot of defeating Brock Lesnar. But when it comes to the rest of the roster, it's nothing but mismatches. It's hard to find people that will look like an equal threat to Brock Lesnar inside the ring. However, there is one upcoming WWE superstar that hasn't debuted yet, but already seems credible for Brock Lesnar and that is Gable Stevenson. We previously talked about Gable also being a credible opponent for Roman Reigns, but a story and match with Brock Lesnar does make even more sense for Gable, given the history. Brock first met Gable several years ago when Gable was just a teenager coming up in high school wrestling scene. There's even pictures of Brock and Gable meeting each other back in those days. Gable has said time and time again how much of an inspiration Brock Lesnar was to him, especially in the high school, college wrestling scene. Although Gable is already signed and committed to WWE, he's still out there competing for college wrestling national championships right now. So as soon as he finishes up his college career, he's expected to make a debut in WWE. And he's getting a lot of hype, a lot of Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar-like comparisons and he's even close with Brock Lesnar till this day. There's even pictures of them together backstage at recent WWE events, so the friendship is there with these two. But WWE recently tweeted out a question, asking fans who they think would be a dream opponent for Brock Lesnar. Gable responded to WWE's tweet by commenting his own name. And it's interesting because depending on how Gable is brought in and introduced to WWE, he'll join that short list of superstars that are actually a threat to Brock Lesnar in the ring. Sort of like a student versus teacher sort of story here with Gable versus Brock. Brock Lesnar was giving Gable little pointers and advice for wrestling since high school, and for Gable to now be standing across the ring from Brock inside the WWE 
would be a pretty surreal moment. And like everyone always talks about when it comes to creating new stars, this would probably be a prime situation to create a new big star. Give Gable and Brock a great story, have Gable defeat Brock cleanly, and you could definitely start building for the future with the creation of this next big young star. So hopefully WWE does have big plans for Gable and he's legitimately able to take off as WWE's next big star. Sony Deville has been in the WWE official role for just over a year now, and her character has been evolving greatly over this run as a WWE official. When Sonya first returned and came into this role, she was more of a soft-spoken person and was basically just observing everything Adam Pearce did. But as time went by and she learned more and more about being an official, you could see the confidence start to come out from Sonya to the point where she became an equal to Adam Pearce and started challenging him on some decisions. Then the Naomi feud happened, and everyone thought that feud had a lot of plot holes that will drive you crazy. One good thing that it did was add that heel personality back to Sonya's character. A lot of people forget that great work Sonya was doing before she left after SummerSlam 2020. She was having all these great promos and building this great story with Mandy Rose. So it was great that the Naomi story allowed her to get parts of her personality back. So what's next for Sonya Deville? Well, Sonya was recently a guest on the Out of Character podcast and talked about how she sees her character being in the same sort of line and role that Vince McMahon and Stephanie McMahon were in for a long time. And that's the role of being this sort of dual threat characters that are technically officials but can still get in the ring to compete and take part in storylines. Sonia had this to say during that appearance, quote, I've gotten a lot of what I do from Stephanie. Looking back on the old Stephanie stuff, I think that is Vince's kind of wisdom for me, a Stephanie-esque character. When I do get in the ring, it's like, yeah, I get in the ring, but I get in the ring as an authority figure. I will use my power how I see fit, and I'll enjoy doing it because that's how Steph does it. And that's how Vince did. I've taken a lot of notes from both their past work for sure." End quote. So that's really interesting to hear about. Sonia is going back and reviewing old footage of Stephanie McMahon when she was an authority figure and studying from that. She's using Stephanie's old GM days as guidance for how she would present her own character in current day. Stephanie, both during her days as GM and her authority days with Triple H, was such a great character they knew how to connect with the crowd and engage with them. So it's great that Sony is taking notes from such iconic official characters like Stephanie McMahon and Vince McMahon. But what are your thoughts on all of today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.